Hello! Well, today I'm going to work on the uh, keyboard driver um, because what I did with the timer, although I don't think I'm going to use this, I think this is going to be useless because basically I don't know who uses I mean, 18 times per second, that's, that's not enough resolution, so... Um, yeah, I've been looking at other things. Maybe after I, I finish the keyboard driver, we can look at that. But for now, let's work on the keyboard driver. Um, right, okay, so... Uh, this is the source of information I'm going to use, because I think it's clear enough. So, basically, when we need to access the keyboard, um, there's no way we can ask the hardware, you know, what is the state of the keyboard? Uh, like all the keys, right? Uh, so instead, what we need to do is we need to wait for an interrupt uh, hook to uh, interrupt 9. And we're going to receive an interrupt every time the a key is pressed or released and then basically what we're going to have is we need to read uh, this port 60 hex and and see where's the key and that's it we store the value and we're going to have an array with all the keys and it's going to be true or false i mean zero and one which is true or false and and that's it I mean, from, from the game, we're going to check if a key is pressed, and and that's all we're going to do. So, yeah, okay. I think we're going to use... We're going to use the keyboard, the timer, sorry. As a, as a starting point. I mean, it's going to be useful at the end, right? So, Ooh. so let's rename this and then cave in it and cave free and like this, right? And that's it. Ooh. So for the keyboard driver, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, so... Yeah, there are a few things we can look at, but I'm going to do it simple. Okay, no, we're going to say one. Uh, no, okay, we're going to change the sign of that. So, so basically here. Change that, and we'll see what we're going to do in the handler. And then the interrupt is going to be nine, right? That's nine. That's nine. That's nine. Oh, yeah, it's nine. So that's the keyboard interrupt. I mean, it's unclear what we really need to do um, because here it's telling us. Extending a scan codes, uh, but I don't think we're going. I mean, we're going to go with the with the scan code really, and that's it. I mean, if we're looking for, we will have some defines for some to make it easier. But basically, um, so left, right, and down, which is kind of interesting. That the, that the cursor 
is an extended key. So the, re the regular PC keyboard didn't have the extended keys. So, the, you know, a dedicated console, which is interesting. And that only if you have 102 keys or whatever, right? So, yeah, so we're going to have some defines for the most important keys. And, and that's it. And we're going to use the, the scan code, I think. Um, there could be a problem with keyboards with a, you know, not QWERTY layout, or, you know, slightly different layout, a CERTY or whatever use the, the Germans. Uh, so that could be a problem, but I think we're going to use standard keys like the cursor. So the scan code should be the same, I think. Right, okay, so this should do... We can actually start testing it. We're not going to use... We're not going to use the timer, so... We're going to use the keyboard. Yeah, we're not going to use the timer because, again, the, the interval handler we have at the moment is not going to work, so... So that's fine. Um, and how are we going to test this? Okay, we'll get back to this in a minute. But for now... Uh, what? Oh, ticks. because we were printing how many ticks we had at the end. Okay, so we should be doing, doing the same. And it shouldn't crash. Good. So that's a good start, isn't it? Now, in the keyboard hand, key, key, keyboard handler. So um, the only thing we need to do is read the keyboard port, and key is a byte. So um, let's do this. That's right. 60, yeah, it was 60 hex, yeah. And for the board, I think we need, I don't remember. Uh, for port, so import, and it's in from PC, okay. I mean, it's likely that we're going to include too many things here because... So, yeah, we use that both, yeah. Yeah, okay, looks like we're using the stuff we need to use. Right, okay, so let's go back to what we were reading here. All right. Okay, so... So we get a key. And what is this doing is... Okay. Call BIOS handler. Ah, okay. So this is if we want to update the BIOS. Uh, so, yeah, but we are not going to do this because we we're using our own, you know, the chain business provided by Go32. So we don't really need, we don't want to do that. Because I guess we could be acknowledging the interrupt and not calling the BIOS and we could be saving some time in there, maybe. But for now, I think we, we don't need that, really. Now, process the key. I think, I think... Now that's not what I want to look at. Oh man, did I lose that? I thought I have something open here. Well, well. 
no. Okay, so I think, I think, um, and actually it makes sense by looking at the codes here, is that, uh, all right, okay, I don't remember, but we can actually test it, right? So I think if the most significant bit is set, that is going to be released. So otherwise uh and why I'm doing it like this? Oh wow, well, okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I said something bef before that was not correct. I think I'm mixing what I was reading about the timer. Anyway, so we can do this, for example. Use K, and then we can say is, well, no. It really doesn't matter, I guess. So we're assuming that it's released. And this is set. And I should provide a key, right? <coughs> and I keep seeing that key in there. All right. Okay, so, so, yeah, that's not very useful, right? We need to change the main. And we probably don't want to set the mode or change the palette. And actually, we can just get rid of all these. And we can say we can define some keys here. I was wondering, can we just get all of them from here? Can we do that? Maybe. Let's try something. Uh, okay. Then we'll copy this as well. We're going to do some processing, I guess. Okay, so. Okay, so this is going to look awful, but I wonder, can we just do this in one go? Like, can we read this and... Oh no, I can't do that. Damn it. Yeah, because these two columns is kind of inconvenient. So what I want to do is, can I generate some defines with this without having to type it in myself? Uh, actually, is this correct? Okay, let's, let's have a quick... this one 
Okay, let's do a quick test. So while he's one So while we don't press one we just wait VC maybe and then if he's two well, it really doesn't matter because we're going to bring everything, right? So, we can do this. So, so press 3 and release 3. Oh, it works. And 3 is number 2. And when I press 1, <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, it's escape. So I did it by accident. Anyway, it's not worth it. Um, let's do it. Let's do some some of them, and that's it. It's going to be enough. So okay, okay escape is one, right? And what else we can do? I mean, we should be doing all of them, right? Let's not be lazy. But I don't want to do it by hand. So let's see how can we process this a little bit. So we can use as a separator, for example, an asterisk. Maybe. Let's copy this into Python and then we play with it until we got what we want, right? Mm, no. So we can do this. So we got A, then we can split on an asterisk and then we can say. or as in is uh, sorry strip okay so what do we have now oh no okay so that's all right we can do this and uh, can we pass a top of it No. Well, split split on the asterisk. No, I thought you could be doing this. Why is it not working? No, it's not splitting on so this is splits in one line, right? Okay. Okay, so get in there, right? So let's call this B. And then we do fine. He, whatever, right? Space, whatever. And it's going to be what it's going to be. Ha ha ha. It's going to be value. 
Is that Python? I don't know anymore. So value and key, whatever. For value, value key in B split uh, what? Split. Uh, space maybe and two oh list object okay 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 fine 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 so C <laughs> for C in B huh C in B. I thought this was correct, right? Because we're doing... Okay, let's do that. So... Because I'm not sure if this is correct. For C in B. Okay, no, it's not a space. It's a tab. No, not a tab. Can we do this? No. I thought... I thought the split could get... I thought split could get a list of something or doubles or something. Split, all right. Uh, separator uh, split oh we can use a split with anything and we it will use white space silly me okay so for um, For L in whatever. Then it's going to be yeah, let's do it for comprehension, right? Can we do it like this? Can we do this? Yeah, of course we can. So now it's going to be uh, what we were doing with the, the final, right? So E string value and it's going to be L zero no one uppercase and zero and what no. and define what Former number is required, not a string. Uh, okay. And I type the same thing again. Oh, list index out of range. Why is that? So there is one that at least, there is at least one that only has one, right? So. Can I do a filter? Can I do if then L is greater than one? Okay, close enough. And then we do and now we go with this. Here, another one, this one, and we do here, for example. And we review because this is going to be wrong, right? So, escape set one and 
can we actually get this and do sort please and yeah of course this is wrong and okay so okay you can do k bar very simple this uh, is that correct yeah the big ones are k bar that didn't go as expected so 0 82 is insert 79 is end all right 80 is down okay but it's going to be k-pad 3 is going to be Face down. Four is going to be. Sorry, hold on. Left. Five is going to be. What is five? I'm, I'm blind at the moment. So it's seventy-six. Seventy-six is five. Uh okay keep keep by five you know what <laughs> i'm not going to use them i just decided that i'm not going to use the keypad okay so and the same, you know, I'm not going to use the quote. I mean, we can simplify quite a lot. And then, uh, because the table is there, I can go and grab whatever I want, right? I mean, in reality, you don't need all this stuff. So this is kind of wasting time right now. I thought I could get everything, but... we need some of them I thought it would be very straightforward but it's not so we can get for example um, what what we want okay so for example 7x are good for a and b right you we want to use the alpha fire then a and s can be also handy to have um, again this is not a library for anyone to use this is for me so i probably don't need all this stuff so the numbers ready the numbers now, backspace. Uh, no. Uh, the F keys. Okay. Enter. Enter. Probably not the one on the keypad, which is 28. Huh? Enter twice? I'm confused now. And the return 28, so it's the same. Ah, okay, fine. So, enter is something that we might use. The escape is something we might use. Uh, that, that is something we might use. 
and then how many kind of rights do I have now? Well, a space bar, it sounds like we could be using that. Then P, yeah, why not? Pause, I guess. And what else? So now this one, now this one, now this one. Now down, not in the key part. So down, this down, we want that. We want it. Then so it's starting from seventy-five. So 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 so. so. No, 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 no. Do we want the F keys? Okay, let's cut them. Uh, okay, I said, what did I say? From 75. 75 to... So seventy five, yeah, left seventy six. There is no seventy six. Did I delete that by accident? Oh no, there is no seventy seven. There you go. And then the next one is. What is up? 72. There you go. And then the rest. I don't think I need this one. Right cool. So, I know I can do. And then here. Let's say now keys. Okay, for example, set. And in here, we don't need to print this anymore. Uh, do I really need to do that? Probably not. Release, press, release, escape, asks. Well, that's a, this is a keyboard driver already. Easy, isn't it? So... And now this one, please. So this is going to be... Okay, so fine. That's the keyboard driver. So that's one thing I wanted to do today. Quick one. What else do I want to do? I mean, now we can change things here. Like, so we don't need this anymore. Whatever. 
Can we press escape, maybe? Something like that. It really doesn't matter. Okay, very flashy. Yeah, this is going to be useful now because we're going to wait for. We need some way of measuring time. Anyway, um, cool. Okay, so, so this is one thing I wanted to do. The other bit I wanted to look at is at this. So I was thinking, uh, okay, so yeah, I was talking about this in Mastodon actually. You know, I was thinking in, in Mastodon and so I've been looking at uh, the. So I was planning to use this Sound Blaster library uh, for DJ GPT, and I was thinking, well, I mean, it's very likely that the Sound Blaster uh, library needs to needs to reprogram the timer, right? Because they're going, we, you know, they need a way of reproducing samples, samples. And at a very specific frequency, right? So they have to do it. So I was thinking, wow, maybe I'm wasting time, you know, trying to get a, a driver for a timer, right? For the for the for the clock to measure time, which is I must remember that this is done, right? <laughs> So I was thinking, well, maybe we don't need to have our own deep content because, you know, they're probably going to do something similar. And, and then I was looking at the library and it actually has some MISC stuff that is just not exactly what I want. Uh, but I think we can repurpose to some extent. So... So, what I think we're going to do is, I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but let's try it, shall we? So, we don't care about most of this, really. I mean, timer in it, and then we don't need this one, we're going to do something different. Okay, so, so, okay, so. Uh, so this is the init code that it's using. Let's take a look because I'm not sure this is correct or I don't really fully understand what is it, what is it doing. No, <laughs> another one. Okay. So, so let's let's do a little bit of work. So basically, it's reading 461. 61 is what? Um, okay, so part 61 is not described here, is it? That's a hundred run and this is bigger. Yeah, but that's not what I want, is it? Oh, it's the keyboard controller. 61 is the keyboard controller. That's why it's familiar. Okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking at that, actually. Is that... 
We should be looking at that right now. 60. Hey, close. Okay, so 61 is the port for the keyboard controller. Um, and what is actually doing? So it's reading 61. Uh, it's not here. Is it? Okay. Uh, the raw hardware. So it's saying this. Uh, no, that's the speaker. That's not, well, it is because we're going to reprogram the timer for the speaker. So in sixty one, is doing FC in this case. So. Take a look what it's doing. So it's doing so I don't know why is setting to zero the second bit and then setting to one the first one. Why is doing that? So what is actually this guy doing here is doing FC. All right. Okay, so that's no song. Excellent. Why is doing timer wide wait here? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, okay, so it makes sense. So whatever it has to happen is with this bit as well, but I don't have reference for that, which is a shame, you see. Isn't it? Because... Um, so the only reference I have is... Channel 2 can be read by software by bit 5, okay? That's not what we're looking for. So... Maybe I need to search for more information, right? So the the bit channel two gate is controlled by IO port sixty one bit zero. Uh, oh, it's the keyboard controller, right? Yeah, I mean we're going to the same place. This is where we are, right? Isn't it? Yeah, this is exactly where we were. Oh no, this is not where we were, but I've been here before. Oh, this is better. So, control your boards. Um, okay. Okay, historical note, use the force if you want to rest the keyboard. La la la. That's all we have. <laughs> Piece of control is set for two iPods, 6064. The PCXC PBI high use for 61. Press the keyboard. Uh, internal signal. Uh, 461 has no keyboard related functions on AT and PC2. PS2 compatible. Fine. But that's the reference we have. So they're sending us here. But it's not really what we need to do. Um, that's the only reference to 461. Uh, okay, let's try again. Because it's not working. Maybe I can find something here. Oh man, why? 
is sending us back at here. We had this open already, and it's not mentioning that port. Well, it's mentioning the port, but it's not telling us the bits. And I want to know why we are setting that one to zero. Oh, there you go. A, B, and C. Um, so value, output, output, one input. And why is such a poor B? I don't understand. I don't think we need to do it like this, but they is doing it, right? So let's do this. I want to understand why it works like that. So, so that would say for input and for B. So A, uh, choose control panel persistent and that's the program very well. 60 to 63 independent ports A, B, and C, and A the input output. The four port address is used as a control port for the chip. Um, fine, 61. Port B output. Oh, haha, -ha, we found it. We found it. That's why. So. That's why. Because, okay, so let's put a comment here. Turn off, so we turn off the the PC speaker. That's why it's setting it to zero. And then turn on the uh, turn on timer two. Okay. Well, that's probably not needed. I mean. This is only interesting in case that the PC speaker was beeping already, right? Anyway, good stuff. Now we understand what's going on here. Now, uh, so this is what I need to understand next. So basically, what we want to do is So we want to start counting after vSync and we're going to we want to wait. So it's going to be timer start and then timer wait and so basically, make, make, yeah, make a seconds. We can use the same. So uh, we need to, this to start. So I think, and this is sometimes this timer doesn't seem to work and the problem hangs. Well, then you have a problem, right? So if that is happening, then it's kind of broken. Anyway, so, uh, so this is uh, the last bit we need to look at here, because I think, because now we're going with the uh, channel two, right? And there's no example here, there's a simple, okay, channel two. Okay, 
So what he's doing is let's copy this. But again, we're going to understand what it is. Did it again. So port 43, mod command register, right only. Already saying ignore. So it's setting to be zero. And why is it to be zero? So it's saying. Okay, it's saying. Okay, so channel two, fine. Okay. So. Channel two. What else is setting? Then yeah, so this is channel two. Then the access mode is saying access mode low byte high byte. All right. I think I, I changed that. It was not C, right? <laughs> it will be. <laughs> Let's not break things. Um, and then what we have, everything is to zero. So, mode zero interrupt on terminal count. So, 16 bit binary. Fine. Then, the operating mouse, do we want an interrupt on terminal count? Well, none of those things are really interested, right? Fine. Interrupt on terminal count. Hardware retriggerable one shot. Oh. Okay. And then. 42 is. Channel data port rewrite. Okay, so now on port 42. Okay, it's explaining the modes. Mode zero for this mode when the mode command trigger is written, the output signal goes low and the bit waves that are low register to be set by software to begin the contact. After the low register has been set, the current code will set the low value and explain. Okay, so this is a uh, okay. So this is so it's not really microseconds, right? Because so it's not one megahertz. It's one point whatever, right? Whatever that means. Okay, so so the current when the uh, current count decrements per zero one from sorry one to zero the output gets high. The current count wrap around. Yeah. Okay. So basically, this is setting the counter to that. Cool. So I think that's what it's doing, right? Because we're asking for two values. So that's the divider basically. And then the next thing is does is this. Okay, so in port 33, 33 by putting which is the highest bit, right? So... So, channel 2. Select the channel 2. Yeah, okay. M makes sense. It makes sense. So... So, we select... 
yeah because without selecting the channel to the commands that we're going to get next i know uh, and i'm thinking that we probably should disable interrupts between these ports right because something could happen in between we will see about that in a minute uh, okay so okay and then it gets the high byte and the low byte because that's the counter that we set here okay that's very straightforward actually so we need a variable right um So it's going to be Can we read will it be possible to read a word on the on the board? Shall we try that? Can we do this? And in that case I don't really need that. Um, basically, the lab set is less okay. So, okay, so, uh, no, so by one, we need to lock here, right. And then, if that, then return. Okay. So now we do, so we wait, we sync, and then we. Oh, we need to init the timer, right? And then basically what we do after vsync, we do timer start. Then we do our business. And then we wait. Second, that makes sense. Uh, no, because we didn't put the include here, right? So keyboard and then and yeah, what is that? So it's timer, timer white, wait, and the other one is timer start. What is it doing now? Uh, mm, it doesn't feel like it's waiting, right? Or oh, huh? let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What is wrong? Let's put something now. Hmm. So, so this is the, ma the the maximum amount that you can wait with this timer, right? But it's not waiting anything. So I suspect. But this is not working. So we need to get
Oh, why is doing that? Why is negating the deficit? Hmm. I don't know, so maybe that's that's okay. Uh, maybe that's okay. Uh, why is doing this? Why is doing that? Why is doing that? Um, so, any information about the data? Okay, red back command. So, the red back command now. Red back is right. Print the current count. Now it has to be into into steps. I think so. Setting the reload value low by high by yeah. So channel zero example. No 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 no. No, 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 no. So this one that is what we need to do. So yeah, shame. Okay. Oopsie. Same, I assume it. Still don't understand why it's still in there. Haha. So now it's absolutely broken. Isn't it? Okay, so. Okay, cool. So that was a very long time. Eh? That's not a second, is it? Well, so I don't know what, what this means. So what these people is saying, this function passes number as uh, microseconds. The minimum amount of time this function, uh, wait a minute. <sighs> okay, so... Okay, so let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. So we know that this is the well, right? So, yeah, we can do that. I'm wondering because, okay. Okay, so we're going to get this. Um, uh, 
Can I do this? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing really. Um, yeah, but that's that's the value. Um, number of ticks to wait for number past ticks to elapse in the pit, which is returned slightly over around or one megahertz. The minimum amount of time this function will wait is probably around four to six microseconds. But beyond that, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, when unless it doesn't work at all. Mm. Yeah, elapsed is less than that. So I don't know what is doing this. Could it be? I don't know what it what it does it. Why is doing this? But does it make any difference? No. It doesn't. Ah, oh, well, we probably don't need this, right? So, yeah. No. And that should be another flow, right? Yeah. Try this one. Okay, so that's the that's the slower it's because we have this. When I we tried that before, when I tried that before, it didn't update anything, right? It got the stock. So. So it doesn't do anything if I remove this. I don't understand. So I don't understand basically. So so this is the number of megahertz, right? So that's the frequency. That's the number of times it's called. What? Don't know what is the date of that. Okay. Um, so this is one. I don't understand. Oh, because it's megahertz, right? So this is megahertz. So, if we do this, oh no, I lost it. I mean, it's, it's going to be the same. So that's the number of times it updates per second, right? Because it's megahertz. So I guess, uh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't understand why it's doing that. So I was expecting Well that's kind of close.
No, it's not doing anything. I don't think. <laughs> and and I think when it does this, it's because we shall say good something. So that is the slower that it can go. Is it constant? I don't know. Let's do something different instead of the color, shall we? Does it look constant? I don't think it looks constant at all. Ah, this is terrible. We can, I can use this. This is not going to work. Clearly taking longer in some cases than others. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's not good, it's not good. Okay, um, okay, um, it's worth testing that. This is going to be a pain, but... Yeah, it doesn't work. Qua, 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 qua. It should be constant, and if it's not constant, I can't use that. Oh, well. So the idea was, after we scene, we start the timer, then we do whatever we need to do, and if we took longer than what we set on the timer here, we exit. Otherwise, we wait until the timer gets to the to that number. And what we accomplish with that is that we get a stable frame rate with the game by setting a cap like that. But I don't think we can do that because it doesn't work. And why it doesn't work? Maybe I'm misunderstanding how the uh, timer works.
It could be that that is too slow. Could it be? And that's why sometimes, I mean, that one, now it looks stable. It looks stable. Without this, see? Hmm. So could be, it could be that by setting this, yeah, but I still don't understand. So if the timer is high, we should have enough time to do this bit here, right? No matter what because we're going to finish doing this before the timer gets to the you know the to the end right yeah but it's not doing that could be the V-Sync could be yeah but I don't understand I mean it could be that the timer is ending no so right now we are now waiting for V-Sync and it's just still completely unstable Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for today. Um, it was a good experiment. Uh, I need to understand really uh, how the timer works and I don't see how I can calculate uh, an amount, you know. I need to know exactly how much time I'm going to wait. And this is setting the counter, fine. Uh, let's take a look. See if I didn't break anything now. B0. We send the counter. Uh, wait a minute. I'm just being silly. Set the counter. It's the other way around, right? That's why we're doing this here. So this says a counter until we get to zero, right? So, and do this. Well, in reality, we can do. Is this true? So we need to
doesn't make sense at all. Uh, no, 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 no. What am I doing wrong? Okay, so timer start, timer wait. Uh, timer start. Timer wait. Timer start. Wait to. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's Monday. It's the same, right? <laughs> it's the same, or oh, it is worse. I mean, we can really disable the keys here. Uh, yeah, we could be, because in reality, it really doesn't matter. So we're not going to process the keys anyway, uh, because we're waiting for the for the cab, really. See, when I press escape, there's a delay if we need to wait. But yeah, that's fine. Anyway, that's not that's terrible. It's not how, what I was expecting, really. Um, so, and I still don't really know because this is a counter that is sub is updated this amount of times. I don't know. Because this is the counter. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So this means that. So it's not that because it's. So that's milliseconds, microseconds, right? So this is the number of times per second. So if I do, yeah, anyway, I will get people commenting on YouTube telling me what is wrong, but yeah, that's not a second, right? Um, this may have hurts instead of hurts, so yeah, but this is too big. That doesn't fit, right? But that's too much for the counter. And we're going to the maximum again. Anyway. not constant anyway okay cool i'm going to leave it here uh i will see what i'm doing wrong if it's anything i'm doing wrong but i don't think i'm doing anything wrong it's just that uh the timer or maybe could be those box being funny i don't know um but it doesn't look i mean it's not a bad idea really uh because in this yeah i mean if it was working but it's not it could be interesting to actually see. Hmm. And there are also some other things we can do, really. Um, because in the timer here, uh, we can access low and high bytes. So we could be, I don't know if we can use that in a way to mm, change the resolution of the timer or something. I don't know. 
So what they basically is doing here is so this is the hertz. And this is the frequency so you play you want to play the music, the the beat, because this is to play a sound, right? Um I mean, can we do something like that? So. so we can say, so this, and let's say, yeah. so the frequency is whatever, thousand. You can say wait and then use the time back here. I just noticed something. Should be eight. Anyway, it's the same idea, right? And what am I doing wrong? Uh, I tend to and I'll write that in that P. That should be a second, right? This one it goes back to the yeah it's terrible. Anyway, yeah I need to see what's going on, but it doesn't look it doesn't it doesn't look what I was looking for really. I mean, even if it's those box, then it's not accurate. That doesn't help because you know you, you will expect the game to work in those box, right? Ah, look at that. I mean, it's kind of terrible. And if we make this smaller, or is it going up? Maybe I'm misunderstanding how this works. So maybe is this? All right. Okay. Ah, uh, I mean, look at that. So one and two was super slow, right? Okay, this is terrible. Uh, in no way you can use it. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. And then I see what I do with the timer. Yeah, it was worth a shot. But it doesn't look like it's going to be what I need to do. Um, I might need to reprogram the the clock, which I didn't want to do. I mean, I think we saw last session or the previous one that that is what Alfresco is doing. Alfresco, oh, Allegro is doing, uh, and I didn't want to do that. So we'll see. Anyway, that's all for today. Bye bye.